fulfill that. Good. Okay. So, as she was mentioning, the final sequence is going for a rehab program or a kind of a thing. So, we have, when I say rehab program, it is not on a negative way, but uh, a, a kind of a course that the people can take up. So, I have, uh, I just think of uh, one situation where everybody, we finished with the bank, in, in, in the bank, they got embarrassed and they got kicked out. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, in the in, in the MBA college in the national conference they got kicked out. In um, the media conference because of GMCA they got kicked out. Yes, uh, the media person was doing some stupid things, but otherwise the the uh, consequences are faced only by these people. All these and and uh, basically the people who have been knowing Catherine and her friends are all showing hatred face towards these people. So, anybody's ego and their self-esteem would be so down by this time. So, this is Catherine's house and uh, people have gathered here. Friends are back and yesterday Charles was in some other place. He was not able to attend the bank uh, uh, conference. Uh, no, no, the bank meeting around with Rachel, Kiran and Prabhu Aditya. Now Charles is back and all the friends are together. Clueless. They want to start a business and they wanted some money from the bank. The bank said nothing doing. They asked some other bank because of their bad manners, the bank rejected. So now they are drenched, they are tired and they are basically speaking, when I were speaking, pissed off. And now let us see how they are going to deal with the situation. Venue, uh, Preston, Anu, Matthew, no not Matthew, Mohan, what's the character of the English? Stephen, who has been sleeping for the past four days in the guy in the skit, and uh, Kavindraj and Nitin, and the people over here, all of them in Catherine's house, and Peter Robinson, of course. So, the last sequence, they are going somewhere. They are going to a particular place where uh, they are all, okay, fine, so we will keep this thing. The last sequence is everybody goes back, everybody goes back, and uh, Vinesh John is asking, when is our next gathering? Catherine says, nothing doing. We are not going to gather anymore. Go, go, gathering, bunny. No, six months once we are having a get-together. No, no, we are not going to have a get-together. I am not going to meet uh, any of you, at least for the next six or seven years, she says. And each and every person. So that again creates a rift in the friendship. How dare you can say it. You know, even in the college days, we, uh, you can you can cook up. Then Peter Robinson comes up with an invitation where the invitation says that there is a kind of a skills development thing. Anyhow, you people are still having about five days or six days until your private flight, you know, taking you back to the respective places. They can go and attend the Friday workshop. That's what he says. And then finally sequence in the Friday workshop, they are going to do the get up. Okay. Okay, right? So, uh, as Preston, he will also be, Rachel will also be participating in the blame game. Here, everybody is blaming themselves and Peter Robinson will also be, Peter Robinson will play a different role, I will other sequence the bargain. He will involve Preston as much as he could. So, that's where Rashford, by that, we can involve Rashford as much as we could, till the time he leaves. Any questions before we start? No, sir, no, sir. Starts with the girls. Okay. Like, Ketana's character, Priya's character, Brinda's character and Kalpita's character, they are going to say, Nada da Atta ki karan ni ngilana. Okay, Abhin Suri. Ungitra da Aram Shio Gelari blame on so first of all, pay some money. Pay some money. Today, that is why you are going to move to Delhi. Like you are going to go to Delhi. You are going to go to Delhi. So then, uh, when uh, the, the girls are blaming, and uh, somebody from the online, they will try to give you support. Papa, they will call it Papa. That is why it will already unfold. You just keep watching. So,
place, Catherine's house. And the people who are present, everybody, including Catherine and Catherine's caretaker, Peter Robbins. And uh, the matter to be discussed is uh, the blame game. Three, two, one, go. and rights to say 
because on the very first day, ever since the US people have come here, it was in Mohan's conference hall and house you people created. Don't call this house, okay? okay yes. Everyone has a camera and that is the way. Uh, and the GMCS, we have hacked the GMCS, and the GMCS, the GMCS, GMCS broadcasting everything we did. Yeah. That's a bad thing. We have fired him. Why did he come here? <laughs> Your dad called me last night huh? and he said, I'm reinstated. And you, have got and you have got nothing to do. That's what he said. Okay. So he, he, was literally, he, was, he was literally telling me, if my daughter is shouting at you, will you be leaving? Is this what is the kind of? Yeah. Okay. Why he is back answer? again? Hey. That's what I want to ask. Right. This is only the state government. The central government is living somewhere in another country. And he called me last night and he said, I'm reinstating. I will speak to him and tomorrow you'll be fired. Do that. Try doing that. You will be. <laughs> Look. You are bringing us in your family drama here, Abhay. Huh? You see, you speak whatever, you do whatever, but please understand, you big sets before you please understand. This is, this is Catherine's house. And they're smelling. And this is, this is, this is, this is, this is Catherine's house. speaking at all, except Reshwar, Ritvika and Prabhupada, if there are others, if you are not speaking and if you are going to keep watching movie less, just like a, a dumb vegetable that is staying on the table, you can leave the call. Otherwise, give some time to the other people at least to speak. If you are not speaking, just put something on the chat that I have got problem in my lungs, I have got problem in my kidney and I have got problem in my pancreas, so I am not able to speak. At least do that. It's so easy. It's so easy to open the goddamn phone and get into the Skype and put your feet up and and then just lying down on uh, the pillow. And here people are taking this to get ready on a Sunday and uh, they, they come there and their parents are spending fuel expenses and they are dropping here and everybody's uh, comfort zone is being disturbed. And they are coming here for direct class every single day, all the seven days. And you, the people who are not speaking, it's so easy for you. Exactly at 5 o'clock, I will have a link on this, right, I will get into the link. Okay, right, fine. So, have some popcorn and just see what is going on and then keep laughing, having the mic mute and having a cup of coffee exactly at 5.30. There is one guy from the US, he is disturbing his sleep and he is getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and he is attending. And you people, you are spending an ordinary kind of an evening while the other, well, almost about 70% of the entire roster is coming directly and you people are just keeping your mouth shut and watching what is happening. And yesterday it was horrible till the Gesu game that we finished, you people were staying and you did not speak or speak a little word. I finished the Gesu game when I think it was uh, Kitra and uh, uh, Brinda had left. I think it was 7.20 or 7.25. Until then the call was active. Apakudu or the best one. If you have a message, you can see that you have a message. If you have a message, you can see that you have a message. If you have a message, you can see that you have a clinic. 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 
Sir, I think, uh, yeah. I think maybe some people, they're on Skype, but they can't speak or they're just not paying attention. Because um, in the chat, I told people who haven't spoken yet to respond to you. And like uh, They haven't replied to your chat line also. Is that right, sir? Yeah, yeah, they haven't. They that's, just said that they read it. That's that's exactly the point that I'm making. Okay. That's that's okay. That, 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 that's okay. Don't waste your energy talking to them or persuading them. I mean, even okay. even even with your even with your cousin, there is no point. Yesterday, Ritvika attends and she goes to the hospital in the midway, and that includes Ritvika also. Now, people like you, Kiran and Nitin Murgan, you people are attending from some other country, and you are so dedicated and serious. They are able to take the opportunity. Today, today I wanted to leave everybody off. And today specifically I have arranged for a class only for you and Brinda. Because you and Brinda are attending uh, on only Saturday, Sunday and Friday. So, on the local risk of the number, you step out of the Dubai and I will be able to do it. Okay, right. So, Reshwar, you want to speak, you can speak now. So, you said uh, about the bank situation. Or uh, we will uh, divert the sequence as if you being a senior most person than the others, trying to advise Catherine because Catherine was the most uh, deviated person, got a little bit delusional as well as time went on. So you listen to the advice and then I will light up some more things and then we will see. Sir, that you told that invitation sequence. Yeah, we will, we will have So it. can you be the person that I mentioned, sir, that Akshay, that person? I have some other name okay. instead of Akshay. I'll tell you how. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Okay, um, Catherine. So, I think um, I, I know you heard what Prabhupada said. I think that's a fair point that you should. Uh, that the problem is actually within us. So the way you screamed at the bank officials was totally unjust. I think that they were there to help you, and you wanted to get their help. When you're trying to seek for somebody else's help, you should be as nice as possible to get the maximum profit, you know, that's available. And if you, if you keep, uh, you know, screaming at them, uh, like, what's, like, what's going to happen is that they're just going to keep decreasing the, uh, their intent to help you. So it was at first 65, then it went to, like, 30, then it got decreased five cores each time. You started screaming at somebody. Now that, um, that's one thing. So you should, uh, the calmness is key in every situation there is. You should always think before you act. Um, did not act before, not act, uh, before you think. And that, that, that's a very crucial uh, idea to understand because it can be the deal breaker for many people in situations. Uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. Yes, Christian, you are right, but I did not uh, did it deliberately yesterday. In the bank, uh, in the bank situation, I did not do anything deliberately. Everything on the sequence, I adapted to the situation that happened in the bank. They started disrespecting us, and mainly my friends. So I raised voice, and I I assure that I did not do it deliberately or wantedly. You started becoming jealous. Not jealous. You started exclusively becoming jealous about Vinay's John and Charles also. Why should I? No, 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 wait, wait. Why should I? As much as I have read your mind, as much as I have read your mind, ever since you were a tiny little kid, I have been referring you and I have been really checking you. Last time, two years back, when the same Peter Robinson was along with you, I was really having tears rolling out of my eyes out of happiness because of how you behave. I still have the video footage. Happiness already. Happiness. Just trying to diffuse the tension. Oh yeah. Yeah. Why should I be jealous of those people who have my best? Because Vinesh, because Vinesh is earning about two hundred crores per year, and Charles is going to varieties of places. And here Anthony is yeah, Anthony has become such a big actor. Andrew, Andrew has become such a big actor, and he has become an actor. And as a matter of fact, you are also a little bit little bit jealous about Liana as well. Good manners are diluted because of having ill characters. No. You are misunderstanding me. You started comparing psychologists and neurologists. Okay, Leo Charles. Like comparing apples and oranges. Leo Charles, why should he from, from my kindergarten, he's my best friend. Why should I be jealous of him? On the day one, you are so humble with both of them. But on day two, you have also started replicating the behavior of Charles and the finished job. No, they are not jealous. Don't you logically? No, 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 never. No, 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 no. You don't understand this. This girl, she is only possessive and jealous of me. Ask her. 
she has been possessive and jealous but she did not create havoc like you in the mba she college she not now she did last year yes didn't she uh, andy it's not about last year as a matter of fact it is not even about last week it is about the past four days the drama that and trauma that you have created in the past four days everything and you you were the biggest me person. yes how can you tell my bro your bro two days back what happened mr charles would you like to remain get reminded about it you people were you you both were have you both were fighting as if you were in the in the, in the, in the third liquid like after yes, this yes, you are fighting you are fighting only yeah. mt r and shivaji is not so far on screen but off screen your friends no tamil culture idea tamil movie no Good friendship will forget. Okay. For better understanding. Okay. You don't have friends. That's why you are yeah, not yeah. friends. Yeah, yeah. You people ignore. You people ignore. Like, um, what is? Well, what do I have to be jealous about? Everything. Our age.
trip to India. When are you uh, ask this ask this girl about the next trip? Yeah, when we are going to gather again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, why you should gather with these people? Look at those people what accusing us. What these people? What these people? These people. Yes, people. Yes, people. But then, Prabhu, I did pay some money. I was asking more. Prabhu, I did to ask a question. अरे बोले इंगिर के रूल फलन करता है इंगिर रह गया था रबर कमर 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 इंगिर रह गया था यस सर इंगिर तो यस्टरडे यू डिडन्ट सी दैट इट्स अ पब्लिक बैंड कर पब्लिक बैंड अदर नहीं नॉन कॉल रस लगा किस्मा के यू डोंट केयर अबाउट दी सराउंडिंग स्टफ योर सर दैट सोर्स दस यू आर आई एम नॉट इंग No, he's not a psychologist. He's working for some private organization. For a change, one of the most well-behaved person with some class in yes, this girl's Catherine's friendship circle. Circle. There is only one person. There are a couple of more people uh, like you and Mohan. These are all the only yeah. ones who are well-behaved, and that is Preston, Mohan. He is done. And Liana, and the girls over here. I would, I would, I would, I would, I would, I would really, I would really enjoy. It's, it's pretty easily countable. Preston number one, Mohan number two, Liana number three, Sara number four, Sahana number five, and Pritika Rao number five. These are the six people who are really well behaved in Catherine's circle. And as a matter of fact, why am I having Catherine as the character that I'm taking care of? It could have been Liana or it could have been Pritika Rao. Yeah, go. Because she's not even giving you even the salary, half of the salary that I'm giving you. Yes. You must want to. The kind of money that I'm getting paid is not from your purse. It's from your dad's. My purse. The my dad cannot reveal it to you. This purse, her purse, and that purse. Anything. I I am uh, just investing all and getting a salary. No, I pity those college students, the Harvard students, because by 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 good looking. Ah, you pity them. Spell the talent first. Spell, come on. Harvard. Spell, spell, spell. That's it. Are we here? Okay, nice point. Nice, nice. Lee, I, Lee, I caught up. He wrote a book called "As What They Don't Teach in Harvard." I have read that book. Have you read that book? I have also read. Okay. What, what? And I can book? tell for a fact we teach three things <laughs> that were mentioned in the book in Harvard. What are you doing? Here also one Lee wrote "What They Don't Teach in IIT." What not to do in IIT? I <laughs> read the book. <laughs> But the special thing is hidden inside him, you know. That's not the thing. I just tell you. What is the special? Thing? You are having the talent of cleaning the bottle very clean and shiny. Yes. You yes. don't have the talent. We have the talent. Very hard. Yeah. You are the inside. You are the bottle. You are the bottle. You learn how to clean bottles, Babu. Swatch bar. I will. I will sponsor for this. Swatch bar. I give a group. Akshay. Speaking about Akshay, <laughs> there is a Bollywood actor called as Akshay Kumar, okay. who has taken movies in that subject. And who has also taken movies about a watch? I mean, go and watch a movie called a Star. It's Batman. not a movie. It's okay. an ad. Right? Batman. Oh, see, that this year. Yes, he's got. 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 Five. I will sponsor if you want. And after that, you shut up. 
And after uh, 1995, he has been making almost about, after two decades, he has come here. So he is going to give a five-day national workshop on value and belief system, <coughs> which I believe that if you could really make an arrangement to postpone your return flight ticket for to the next five days or so, maybe instead of tomorrow, just push it to, don't care about the money, I will also make the logistics arrangement. So, just... <laughs> <Please. laughs> you... Hey, hey. Don't hey. interrupt to finish talking. Exactly. Hey. Thank you, that's so good. You guys should have so respect welcome. for each other. Y'all are friends, right? Finally. Friends should respect each other. I mean, you can argue, but this, this is something serious going on here, right? That's great. That's great. So, so you, Mohan, Stephen, and the other people can really care about attending this conference. And as you know, in Catherine's house, estate maintenance, I'm taking care of the logistics, tickets, booking, and all that. So if you're interested, you can attend this five-day program. John D. Murphy has, and, and, and this is also a complimentary book. Uh, this, 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 this was published in the year 2001, and it is uh, called as Why Not You? And uh, even Dale Carnegie, how to, the, the author of How to Influence Friends and Really Do Well in Public Speaking, he has approved this book. So this book is a compliment and the five-day workshop. I can get golden membership or platinum membership if you people want. If you are you are you ultra platinum, go and throw back. Okay. If you are going for platinum membership, you can sit in the front row and you can see John D. Murphy very close. If you are going for silver membership, you will be almost about 6,000, 5,000 seats away. So. You I will ask him to come. I will sponsor him. Don't worry. You no, know. even prime minister cannot do that. I mean, shut up. I am powerful than prime minister. One phone call to prime minister. So, president, I am not having the energy to speak to these little god damn rotten monkeys. But so, monkeys. you can speak to them and try to convince them. Because you are also. Amidst, because I am sad. Because I mean, everybody, you are the senior most person, and you are even senior to Catherine. You are college senior for them. And if you, you have a kind it's heart. Okay. You have a kind heart to be associated with these tiny little idiots. Just six months. Okay, Stephen is also in, so I'm going to book four tickets. Okay. Oh. 
Starting from it. <laughs> Just Praise. texting you every day, buddy. <laughs> Praise. Now, Catherine and her friends, with the kind of convincing that President did, everybody has accepted to book the tickets for John D. Murphy's program. Now, before going to the final sequence of uh, Good Manners Kid, I have uh, one discussion to be elicited. How do you treat a person? Like, for example, if a person does not have manners, or just like what, you, what these people are showing in character, then they are not respecting somebody's qualification, somebody's profession, occupation, and, and somebody's age. How do you think that lack of manners can be taught, and how the attitude can be adjusted? So like if Peter Robinson's age is not respected, the first and foremost point why Peter Robinson is so miserably disrespected is Catherine. Because she started disrespecting and the, her friends have also started disrespecting and they abuse him, they call him names, uh, they pick him, they accumulate him and uh, they make him feel so demented deep down inside. And uh, just like uh, this uh, little Kung Fu Panda over here is calling names. So, my question and the common discussion that is put on the platform is if you are older and if a person, now you see yesterday we saw a different sequence but now when somebody is not giving you the proper respect that is required for your age and if you are an age person, it happens to the youngsters as well. So like uh, if, say for example ratio is a college going kid now and uh, if a third grader or a fourth grader is not giving you proper respect. Uh, if uh, Vedavashan, Nagalan, Mitra, Kalpita, 8th standard, 9th standard and Kirtana is in the 11th standard, so if a 3rd grader or 2nd grader are not giving a proper respect, well, Kirtana is an accident. So, that's a lucky draw. So, basically, how can you teach some lessons to those people who are not giving proper age, uh, respect for the age? Sometimes some, uh, some parents are really facing it. Most of the teenage uh, children's parents will be facing it now. They get humiliated, they are called names, and uh, they, their past has been uh, you know, taken unnecessarily and has been put down, and their emotional, uh, 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 what to say, emotional strength has been tested. So, my question is, how can we teach good manner to those people who are not having the culture of respecting the elders? Where shall you start? Okay. Uh, sir, can uh, us? Ah, Ritvika, uh, the sequence goes like this, Ritvika, Reshwar and then Krishna and then so on, okay, Mitra, yeah, we'll come, we'll come on back, we'll come on back. Yeah, Ritvika. Okay, sir, uh, so, by, uh, we can teach them by doing like this, uh, skits, sir, uh, and uh, if they did not respect us, we, are, uh, we also have to uh, uh, do, uh, we should not also not uh, respect them, sir, so that they'll be, feeling that why they are not respecting us like this, then then we uh, then even we start to respecting us, sir. Then we have to avoid them, sir. Something if they hurt us, or, uh, uh, if they don't respect us, we have to avoid them, sir. Then they uh, they uh, they, uh, they will feel that uh, uh, we should not uh, uh, do like that. Uh, we should respect them. They'll feel like that, and they'll be respecting us, sir. Well, well, well. Demonstrate and teach them what to be done and what not to be done. So give them a demonstration or uh, show a short movie or uh, give some instructional films or uh, uh, put them into a skit like this or uh, at least to cast or telecast this, this kind of a skit to them. Okay, right. That's a good idea. Very sure. Um, okay. Uh, so this has obviously happened to me a lot of times before and like uh, I'm as a high school student, like I'm I'm someone who's more focused on studies rather than like uh, you know just hanging out and doing nothing. So, but like unfortunately the culture is like uh, around here. Um, like you should be scared. Like like a, a freshman or a ninth grader uh, should like respect a twelfth grader, or like um, or if they mess up or if they insult them in any way, they get beaten up. And that's like where the concept of like high school fights happen, and which is, um, I mean, unfortunately, it's pretty common, and that's only because of like ego. And so I think first that should go away, like no ego when dealing with uh, like people who are younger than you, um, because one thing is probably that they don't 
they, they probably don't have the level of understanding that you have, and they'll be thinking differently. So uh, the second part is uh, you have to understand what they're uh, what they're trying to say. Why? I mean, like, why are they disrespecting you? Okay. Why do you think that's happening? And sometimes there's a big age gap. So, uh, like, uh, let's say a parents and a child, there's that huge age gap, and like the uh, understanding would not be there. And so, as a as an older person, um, like there will be there will be like a big difference in culture and all that. Like especially for me, I was my parents like were born and brought up in India, right? But I I was born in America, and so like I grew up in a totally different culture than they than they did, and so um, we have a total different understanding of like how the world works around us, and so. For that uh, understanding to happen, there should be a conversation, and um, so there should be a conversation between both the parents and the child to come to an understanding. Um, and so, like the disrespect does not happen anymore. Uh, at the same time, uh, you shouldn't be too harsh uh, on on the child. Like obviously, you can be like, "Oh, go sit in the corner for some time. Think about what you did." Uh, you can you can say that uh, like as an older person, or even if you're talking to a younger friend, be like. Uh, I'm not talking to you. Uh, I'm not talking to you anymore. Uh, go away. And uh, to be honest, I feel like uh, 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 young people they just uh, don't know the importance of the knowledge that older people have. They think that they know everything themselves. Probably the way they act that, that way. And so when they do realize that um, that maybe what they did was wrong, so they'll naturally come back to you for help. That's what oh, I. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, that's totally accepted. And uh, what you are speaking about is momentary reaction mode. That's what we call in psychology, momentary reaction mode. But now, uh, very quickly before we go to Krishna's answer, like what should Peter Robinson do in this situation? Like uh, his professional uh, purpose is being disturbed. And when the person who is supposed to respect him is not respecting him. And when, he is, uh, when his experience is being uh, dismantled and when the experience is being kicked out, and his character has, has been assassinated by tiny little kids. So, how do you think Peter Robinson should be rea reacting in this situation if something of this is happening, something of this sort is happening? Um, maybe you can... Uh, so, obviously they don't respect you and uh, it doesn't seem like they're going to respect you anytime soon. So, there's two options. If you, you could leave them and let them fight it all out, come back and ask, so what did you guys get done? Anything productive? So something like that, you know, make them reflect on what happened. Or you could go call somebody that's uh, that's more respected. And so if they come and talk to them, uh, maybe you know they they'll see that they're getting advice from a different person. Um, and then maybe they can calm down like that. Or because um, like I mean uh, I want to say that there's ways to like psychologically change their mind, but it doesn't seem like that's ha happening because you try that um, already, they're just not willing to give in. Um, maybe you could show them uh, why you should be respected, um, yeah, right. like if you have proof or some, maybe give a speech or, or you know, just like connect, uh, connect, with the, connect with them on a deeper level, maybe it can be like a shared understanding of something. Or maybe you can just forget, totally forget, forget about this bank topic, all this blame game. Forget about all that. Just have a, just direct the conversation to something uh, normal and friendly. So they also see that you are a person as well, um, and one that can be respected. Okay. So when uh, adding on to what Rishwar mentioned here, when a senior is being disrespected, there is a very big responsibility for the senior. To go a little deep, deep is a very important word here. Let's say, uh, go a little deep and find out why this is happening for the person. Now what Peter Robinson does is, even Peter Robinson is doing things wrong here. He is showing his immediate sharp reactions to the character Anthony and he is shouting back and all that. But the point is, he has to go a little deeper and try to figure out why he is being disrespected. First of all, if you are a senior person, and if you are disrespected by the junior most person, it is not something to be disturbed about. Because there is a deep weakness not in you, 
but in a person who is disrespecting you because their parents have taught him or her in this and this way okay they have fixed up some kind of standardized behavior patterns okay if it is a very low trodden person in the society take him lightly if he is a huge person be very humble and be so nice nice to him so that you can have the relationship or friendship with the person ivula sambarikkaraala anda avanga eppadi nadathu ivula sambarikkaraala anda avanga adhi stupid idu and the kid today mentality is their parents who have taught the kid like that that is why he is disrespecting the elders like that okay so you might have seen some of your friends calling people with the prefix after all unga friends la yara sila per pathinga appadina sila occupation la irukavanga la vandite after all appadina prefix support kooptinga paathukku after all a shopkeeper have you witnessed it have you listened to that from some of your friends that's the most biggest sin that you could ever commit in your life at least after all appingirathu oru perukku munnadiyo oru occupation ku munnadiyo oru person ku munnadi poradhukku ungalukku endha arudhiyume kedaiyadhu after all avan oru sadharanana oru andha sadharana gade kedaiyadhu please read the book called as the same surfer and the sea over written by ravi sharma so he says treat all the all of the three all ellathi ore ma treat pannu saint ramiyar surfer washerman and the sea top of the organization and he gives a few in the end solid concession he comes up with an example of nelson mandela nelson mandela treats all the three people the same way so our reader and the dictionary after all and the career kamara is a reader after all and the career when he was the chief minister of tamil nadu he never thought after all at least avaru theriyum padikama irukravan evlo low a irupan avaru theriyum but he was a chief minister and there were some ministers who were trying to nice and who were trying to be very much comfy and nice to indira gandhi to get some support for him Indira Gandhi was the prime minister then, and Kamalajar could have done just like what the the, the, the other ministers, other chief ministers of the states did. Indira Gandhi took a decision to marry Kesi. They took the portfolio as a gain for him. Kamalajar had done nothing to regret. In fact, there are people, uh, the current person who is in the DMK, I don't want to name the person. There, among our own, all of them are very charming. Kamalajar is a province leader. Yeah, you know, if you want to win, you will get the portfolio. You will get this. You will get that. Am I talking about the chief facing army? You know what he did? See, I have got a portfolio of work. After that, I realized that the result of all the work I have done, I have made a chief minister of work. 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 So there are people who are cursing him. But sorry to speak about uh, the lady prime minister here, but I will have to speak. Indira Gandhi was treating Kamraj very, very badly, very badly, very badly. Very badly. There were places where. in a uh, political influential environment kamrajar was insulted like nobody would it would have been insulted i would say mgr respects anna thurai very much but i should say i will say and i will command to say kamrajar should be respected even more than anna thurai kamrajar should be respected hell even more than mgr himself because he was such a man of good chronicles okay ye indha na kamrajar solran solli ketta there are people who were embarrassing him appa embarrass pannum bodha avaru solradhu ore or statement ore or statement my brother uses this statement always avulukku butti avula you can't blame him avulukku butti avula you can't blame him how avin solu the first ore year to varshathu munadi padikum bodhu when manigandan sundaresan was an egotistical you are now but year to munna year to varshathu munadi konja bodhu padikum bodhu how could this happen eppadi or manushana ivula pakkama povanga But if you are the less of police, how will you be able to handle it? So here, that's what Rachel is also mentioning. They act under the banner. You know, deeper level of it, I'm going to connect under the banner. Those who are Peter Robinson, Anthony, who are going to connect under the banner, they deeper level of it connect under the banner. So now, why did me? I'm going to have many pesos that I'm going to answer for. But it becomes impossible in some occasions. But please understand, when somebody is disrespecting you, it is the way they have been brought up. That's not your mistake. That is your mistake. So good man, I'm going to tell you what you did. You are going to be able to come here. If you are disrespected, that's the way they are brought up. That's not your mistake. Our own mother do not have a responsibility. But giving the reaction is your responsibility. All right. So go deeper. Why the person is is doing that? Now, so no matter, and they have trolled, and they at least upon the side are not doing it. No matter, and the prejudice and the, and the the justification and the asymmetrical symmetry. I mean, no matter the asymmetry, asymmetrical. I mean, no matter imbalance. And the asymmetrical thought patterns are which one of the better or person I am here to come. 
So I'm going to be able to get a pair of So, mostly, in the permanent thing, I'm going to be able to get a piece of mind. Otherwise, you will lose sleep. So, my biggest teaching here in the good manner, when I'm speaking about this, there will be a line over here on the video edge. The biggest thing is here when somebody is disrespecting you in terms of your age and occupation and the social, societal status, it means that disrespecting person has got a deep, deep, deep brought up weakness inside. And that is the problem of that person and that is the problem of their parents, not you. So, on that level, react on the This is one. But react on the situation there, you can have some kind of, uh, what to say, diplomatic reaction. If Peter Robinson is doing this, he is doing this, he is doing this, he is doing this, shooting the same sharpened arrow, he is doing this, as Reshwar mentioned, talk to them privately. Pull Anthony out, pull Charles out. So just give me two minutes, I'll come back.
So my brother called me up, but my phone wasn't charged and I was not able to see. So I will give the information to everybody. You know, funeral will give you all the information to everybody. So I will give you all the information. You are well behaved. Sir? Yeah. Sir, dad is here, sir. Can I inform to him, sir? Papa, I will call you. Papa, I will call you the first phone. Yes, sir. Just a second, sir. I don't know where he is, sir. I will just... No problem, no problem, no problem. I'll call it, I'll call it. Okay, sir. Hello, kill it, bro. Please. Kill it, bro. Kill it, bro. Kill it, bro. Okay, so you can't face it, you can't face it, you can't face it, you can't face it, you can't face it. Ah, but I'll be here, I'll be here. Yes, sir. This is your best chance. Hello? 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 Thanks, 
kali deh.